right. Welcome back to another lesson. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Kakwadash. And double honor to the apostles and others, great millstone, Shalom, to the hopeful elect. All right, we're going to get into this quick lesson, all right, uh, based on the clip that we saw. And, you know, we understand that Jake, um, you know, has a zeal, but it's not according to knowledge, all right? And that clip there appears to be some church in the South is all I can make out of it, all right? But what you saw in that clip were the two gentlemen on the left side, all right? One that was in purple, and I think the guy next to him had on something that looked like a dashiki, all right? But if you look closely, you can see that they had fringes, okay, on the a, on a, on a, uh, borders of their, their shirts, all right? And uh, our people are ridiculously confused, you see? Now, how are you going to understand what the fringes are, and yet you're still singing in what appears to be, and I could be wrong, a Southern Baptist church or a First Baptist church or whatever it is, all right? Now, our people can understand, okay, that you, you're an Israelite, but you're still, what? praying to a, a false idol in, in Jebus, you see? Anyway, let's get into some scriptures. This is 1 Corinthians 14.33, and it reads, For the Most High is not the author of confusion. Stop right there. How are you going to be wearing fringes, okay, inside of a building made with hands, right, singing to a false deity, right, named JC. At least that's what it looks like, all right? Okay? That's not of the Lord. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, okay? And you know, sometimes Jake like to do things just to be doing it, okay? Because it, it, looks, it looks like something different, all right? So here they are popping up in the little corner <laughs> storehouse churches, okay, wearing fringes, all right? So people can ask him, what is that you got on? Okay. Anyway, let's get back to the scripture. We'll read it again, 1 Corinthians 14, 33. For the Most High is not the author of confusion, but of peace, as in all churches of the saints. Let your women keep silent in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak. Right? And you heard a woman in there what appeared to be trying to quote unquote preach while she was yet singing. Okay. And it tells you that what? Let your women keep silent. What part of silent do women not understand? Let your women keep silent in the churches. But it's not permitted unto them to do what? To speak. Right? Sit there in your pew and rock from side to side humming. Just do that. Okay? For it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience as also said the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for a woman to speak in the church. That's clear cut and, and straight to the point, okay? But you got a lot of our women. You seen the young woman that was standing up there, right, dancing in front of everybody. You know there's men in the church. She got on a dress, right, all up in the front, like the lady that used to be on the Apollo, <laughs> Dancing all in front, okay? It's Ephesians 4 and uh, <laughs> 4 and uh, 17. It reads, This I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk. Right, if, if you know that you're an Israelite, <laughs> why are you still walking like you're a Gentile? Why are you still walking as if you're out of your mind, okay? 
if you know you you know what the fringes mean and you know what it means to be an Israelite, why would you still be going to that place? I, I don't know. Let's finish it out. It says, uh, this I say, therefore, and testify in the Lord that ye henceforth walk not as other Gentiles walk in the vanity of their mind, having the, understand, having the understanding darkened, right? You know, they, they have not come to the true light, you know. <laughs> they got the fringes on, but that's it. All right. Being alienated from the life of the Most High through the ignorance that is in them because of the blindness of their heart, right? Their mind. They're still blinded in the mind. Okay. And Jake more or less doing it for fashion. You see he had on a purple shirt with the gold fringes. So that tells you who he's been watching. All right. Verse 19, who being past feelings have given themselves over unto lasciviousness to work all uncleanliness, salaki, uncleanness with greediness, but ye have not so learned Mashiach, if so be that ye have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Shai, that ye put off what? Concerning the former conversation, right? The old man, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, right? You got to be renewed in the spirit of your mind, born again, your mind, the spirit of the Lord has to be on you and change your mind and get rid of the old man, okay? You can't put on fringes and, and, and still be showing up on Sunday, singing in the choir, and going on with the old same okie doke, that old time religion, okay, and you and yet you got fringes on. Singing that go tell it on the mountain civil rights movement spirit. Okay. Verse 24, and that ye put on the new man, which after the most high is created in righteousness and in what? And true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor, for we are members one of another. Okay? But you have to have your mind renewed. You have to change. Right? Jake can be real simple. It's Romans 12 and 1, and it reads, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of Yahweh, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto Yahweh, which is your reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world, right, even in that world of so-called Christianity, in which the, the Israelites are the real Christians, okay? These people are anti-Christ or anti-Christians, right, as the apostle said, you see? But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. You see, your way of thinking through the Spirit will change, okay, when you give yourself over to the truth. Let's go over here to Proverbs because our people lack that wisdom, all right? Proverbs 4 and 1, and it reads, Hear ye children the instruction of a father and attend now understanding, for I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. Get wisdom, get understanding. And that's what those people in them churches lack. They lack the understanding. See, because it's perpetual. Because more than likely, their preacher learn from another preacher who learned from another preacher because you have generations of preachers and families, right? Preaching the same wrong doctrine. Okay? Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee, love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And 
with all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ointment of grace, a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom. I have led thee in right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened, and, be, and when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. Right, keep going. All right, stay out of the way of the wicked. Right, they'll throw you off course, you see. But wisdom is a key principle thing, man. You know, you have to have that wisdom to be able to know how to apply the scriptures to your life. Okay, but our people just... You know, they, it's, you know, we know that two-thirds are not going to make it, okay? And um, <clears throat> that right there was just, it was just, it's just stupid. Uh, what else can you say? All right, Jeremiah 4 and 22, for my people, it's foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children, right? Elder Apostle Zabar's favorite word, if I could say so, all right? It goes into the word stupid. And they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. Right? So, it, hey, you're you going to wear fringes in the First Baptist Church or wherever you, wherever you stay. Right? Okay. Hosea 4 and 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee. Right. What are the fringes is supposed to remind you of? Okay. <clears throat> Obviously, he doesn't know. Okay. Because if he knew, he wouldn't even be there. He wouldn't be holding a microphone, calling himself singing. And he had his beard and everything. Okay. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. All right? Real simple. We'll get one more. We'll be done. Romans 10 and 1, it says, Brethren, my heart's desire and prayer to Yahweh for Israel is that they might be saved. Might. Might be saved. Right? But that was Paul's prayer that Israel will be saved, right? All right, but hey, you know, and look at look at this day and time we living in with the men of the Lord preaching and doing all that they can, and yet you have something like this pop up. It's unbelievable. It's almost unbelievable. Verse 2, for I bear them record that they have a zeal of Yahweh, right? But not according to knowledge. For they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness and going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. For Mashiach is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone that believeth. For Moses described the righteousness which is of the law that the man which doeth those things shall live by them, right? And so Yahweh Shai is uh, altogether that righteousness. And we are to follow that, that example that our Savior gave us, all right? Because when we do the things that we were told to do by Yahweh Shai, okay, which encompass all of the laws, okay? And through faith, our faith will help us to do all of those laws to the best of our ability in this time, all right? And sometimes you get these contentious jakes, you know, slock you, and they think that they, you know, can tell us, you know, uh, a 
about performing all of the laws. Well, we know we can. We know that the law can't save us. All right? It's our faith in Yahweh Shai. Okay? But we don't make void the law, as Paul said. Okay? So anyway, just wanted to touch on that. Saw that. And, you know, I got a good little chuckle off of it. But, you know, as, as always, we see these different types of things. And you know what? Maybe somebody can learn something from this. So we, we always jump into a short lesson on it. Okay? For the, for the benefit of the, of the flock. All right? So with that, I'll end it right there. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai. Shalom.